Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nastrin Padasali. So you should know if you are going to write your DBT Vidya examination means definitely you should know what is the minimum mark out of 300 to clear this DBT Vidya of examination. Okay, uh, so before writing your exam itself, you should clear about those things. Only then uh, the exam is going to be conducted on April 23rd and you have literally 20 days of preparation time and within preparation time every time you are starting a preparation you should know how many questions, how, what is the minimum mark you need to get in order to clear this exam. In this video I have given you a detailed analysis of minimum mark category wise also I have given. So without any delay let's get into the video. So this is the thing I need to share with you friends. So this is with respect to DBT Bejar examination friends okay so this is for category 1 I am going to tell you in the later on this video itself I will share with the minimum mark for clearing this category 2 so this is the cut off or minimum mark that has been published on previous year statistics okay so general EWS with respect to EWS category they had introduced in 2019 only because in 2019 only this NTA has taken a in charge of conducting this DBT BJRF examination NTA is nothing but national testing agency and OBC ACST everything had given so from 2014 to 2021 I have made you an entire analysis so this minimum mark depends uh, will vary based on many factors first factor is the total number of students who has applied for your particular category say in general category more number of student applied means the cutoff will be very much higher okay and next with respect to difficulty level of question paper how much the question is difficult next thing they will analyze is the previous year question paper respect to general category the highest ever mark reported is 236 marks that also in 2020 the reason is that in 2020 the question paper was little bit easy and many questions have been asked from previous year that's the reason why the cutoff was this much greater okay whereas if you compare with 2014 the cutoff didn't even cross 200 marks and with respect to 2021 the cutoff was 194 Okay, now with respect to EWS category, again in 2020, the cutoff was little bit greater. 2 and 3 was the mark you should get out of 300. And with respect to OBC also, I have given in 2020 only 210 mark. Apart from this particular, if you compare later on, your mark, your goal is between 180 is the maximum mark that has been reported. And with respect to SC, ST and all, SC only 2020, a mark gone 186. Okay, and now ST, your mark is 2021, your, this, this is what the mark is. And this is with respect to category 2. And whenever you are starting a preparation for any exam, you should write this minimum mark in the front page of preparation notebook and you get to revise all those things. Okay. And with respect to category 1 and category 2, I think you know many, uh, you know about all those things. I am not going to repeat again. The thing, the difference between mark is not that much extreme. If you take CECR examination, the mark difference between JRF and LS is very much different. If you take JRF, uh, JRF mark it should be percentile wise, he or he, they should be a general category, she should be getting 98, whereas LS means 95, it's okay. Okay, that much difference will be there with respect to CECR examination. Okay, with respect to DBT category 2, the cutoff mark, say in general category, the category 1 cutoff is 236, and with respect to category 2, the cutoff is 227. 10 mark only, it will be difference. Okay. And this is what the safest mark or minimum mark that you should aim. Okay. So, why I am putting this mark means you should also aware about this negative marking scheme. Okay. So, you know this minimum mark means you should stop at that point itself. Okay. With respect to general category, out of 300 mark, you should aim for between 200 to 240. Why I am putting this extreme means if you check on the 2020 statistics, the cutoff for general category is gone 236. Okay. So, that is the thing you should be getting your mark between 200, 200 to 240. And if you are EWS category, Category, then your mark should be 160 to 200 okay and if you are OBC your minimum mark you should get around 150 to 210 again why I am taking 210 means OBC you should get above 200 means you are in safe zone because only in one year that is 2020 alone your mark gone beyond 200 whereas if you check on previous year statistics and all even in 2021 and all the mark that, that is the cutoff is only out of 200 out of 300 if you are getting one 
160 itself you can clear your examination but if you check with 2020 statistics the mark is going about 200 so that's the reason i am putting this particular statistics because in that particular year total number of candidates applied will be very much less when compared to general and other other categories okay so next if you are a jc and st you, you, you should target mark between 100 to 150 that's a safest mark so please note this particular thing in your mind and start continue your preparation maybe in the next video i'll update you how many questions you need to be attempt in order to clear this dbt bachelor's examination so please note this cat uh, mark in your preparation notebook uh, if you are writing your exam under general category then note this particular mark if you are writing an exam under obc then please make sure of writing this particular mark this will be very much helpful friends so only if you go through this mark you can definitely clear this examination and you you will get a wholesome idea about writing this examination okay so thank you friends thanks for watching this video